So War Thunder is no stranger to the use of close air support systems, normally in the form of bombs and even unguided rockets, though over the last couple of years we've seen the introduction of more guided precision uh, platforms such as the Fritz X found on the HE-111 and even the 177 all the way up to the AS Nord missiles found on the G-91 series and in my favorites the FJ-4B VMF, the AGM-12B missiles. Now, those missiles can also be found on the Phantom series and even more so with the A-4B uh, Skyhawk. I believe that's the name of it, to be honest. I do forget. Uh, so, with this video, I'm going to be talking about not only the use of those platforms, but the way to appropriately use them. So, consider this the first official tutorial video for this channel. So, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it. So just to make things much easier to explain when I'm talking about uh, the specific setup I use for guiding the missile and the aircraft itself, uh, I do have my keyboard camera set up right here and highlighted in red are the keys you'll basically be using, uh, well I am currently using to guide these missiles through as well as maintain full control over the aircraft. Now as you can see right here we do have the FJ-4B uh, VMF with the five bullpup missiles. Uh, I'm utilizing free look with the C key right here. Now, if you don't know how to use this uh, and you've, you've gotten to this part in War Thunder, uh, you're definitely missing out. So uh, definitely have that free look bound over as close as possible to WAS and D. Again, that is just my opinion on it. Now, as you can see right here, even in free look, I'm still able to re uh, retain control over the aircraft fully. And if I wanted to, which I will do right now, I can fire off a missile, retain control, and do whatever minute adjustments as needed. As you can see right there so let's go ahead and uh, engage one of my friends right here they seem to be sort of bunched up really quick uh, let's do some distance shots and that's should be him on the type 93 I think nope there he is <laughs> all right so let's let's just throw a missile at him really quick make some uh, minute adjustments and there we go and let's get a, another friend right here in a milk truck well he's, he's dead too so <laughs> okay, uh, yes, yeah, so as you can see right there, I basically still retain full control over the aircraft while utilizing the missiles in my key set over here. Again, this is basically WAS and D, 8, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, I think they're shooting me. Uh, they're trying to shoot me down. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see right there, we were still able to retain full control over the aircraft itself. I do apologize if I am repeating myself on that. Uh, the control scheme is set right up here. If you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, that is my personal keybind. You are more than welcome to use it and attempt to use it yourself for sure. So, as you can obviously see, that is exactly how it plays. Now, let's go ahead and do something a little bit more challenging. So, I've instructed my friends to shoot me down, but I will be attempting to destroy them as they attempt to destroy me while evading their shots and still guiding the missile through. So, let's go ahead and try that. I think he just sent a missile at me. Yeah, it's not going to do much here. Uh, so, I'm not going to worry about him. In fact, I'm going to worry about this guy right here. There he is. He's trying. He's trying. He's down. Try this one more time. Adjusting, adjusting. Splash damage was able to get him, and I was still able to dodge that missile. Although, uh, it's it's a very simple system to dodge for sure, especially that little milk truck right there. Though, coming head on to him should result in more accurate shots from him. So, let's go ahead and knock him out really quick, too. While dodging his shots, though, it should be incredibly easy to do so. As you can see, splash damage did get him. Another SPAA adjustment. There we go. And we did get hit too. Awesome. Uh, so that is what I mean when I say you are able to retain full control over the aircraft while still controlling the missiles itself. But you don't really want to overdo uh, the the numpad right here. You don't want to kind of just go too crazy with it. The idea is to be very subtle with your adjustments. And at times, maybe be a little crazier with it. Though, again, it comes down to user preference more so than... Uh, well, I guess whatever skill set you develop. Excuse me. Uh, let's knock out my buddy here. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, those missiles are terrible. He just cannot kill me, can he? Just dodging, dodging. There we go. Cool. 
And that honestly really shows uh, the efficiency of using both the WASD key and the free look with the numpad system to control the missiles. Now, this again will vary uh, depending on your setup. This is the most efficient for my setup and he actually shot me down, oh boy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you are able to also use the Alt key, Alt W, A, S, and D to control the aircraft and the missile. However, you will have to use either one or the other, which is something I really don't uh, recommend as it's not really ideal for me, but then again, if you are just doing minute adjustments in a situation where no one is really shooting at you, I guess that can work well for you as well. So with that, let's go ahead and take this out to some real gameplay in a real setting. So just to make some closing points, yes, this system does seem a little complicated as shown below. Uh, it did take some getting used to for me. In fact, this is a setup that I have been using since pretty much the initial release of the FJ-4B back when the gun cam was a thing. So being able to use this uh, at that given time was a really big benefit. It still is to this day, just probably not as good as it used to be uh, prior to the, uh, I guess, the update uh anyway so uh that being said yes this is a complicated system will it work for you i honestly hope it really does don't use this as a way of doing this 100 percent find something that is comfortable for you find a method that works for you you're able to work comfortably and able to use efficiently this is my setup this is what's comfortable for me and it really does show uh, especially in the videos and streams and in my normal gameplay uh, so yeah, feel free to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this kind of stuff. Uh, did this setup help you? Are you practicing with this and giving it a good shot? Or is it something you're just probably never going to mess with because you don't play with these missile systems at all? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below, guys. I do go ahead and read those, and I do enjoy reading those very much. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, this whole hand thing on the keyboard, uh, especially with this crappy camera, I can promise you guys, this is not the camera I use for streaming, okay? Take my word for it. This is just my spare camera. Uh, so this is a little weird for me to be honest so feel free to let me know down in the comments below uh, as well what you guys think about this is it something you guys like to see more of in the future uh i guess more how-to guides more or less feel free to let me know guys i'm still a little bit new to this kind of stuff so that being said if you guys happen to have enjoyed everything you did see feel free to uh you know just give me that thumbs up if you can and uh feel free to check out my live streams over on twitch link is down in the description but it, how do i do this below i'm pointing at me <laughs> So, uh, yeah, feel free to check that out, ladies and gentlemen. I am live pretty much every single day, and I hope to see you guys there for sure. Uh, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll see you guys not only in the games or in uh, the streams, but in War Thunder itself. You know what? That's a, that's a crappy outro. You know what? I give up. I give up. I'll see you guys next time. Good night.